Um, hey, ladies and gents, I uh, hope you're well. So uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, calculating interest. So simple interest and compound interest um, over a period of 15 years and uh, with a principal amount of uh, 5,000 pounds. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to start doing is um, type in the years and then uh, simple interest here and then uh, compound compound interest. Okay, cool. Um, and uh, my principal amount is um, so five thousand pounds. Okay, cool. Right. So on a side note, um, I would really appreciate it if you guys do subscribe to my channel. If you like what you see, please do subscribe, share the video with your friends as well. So thank you in advance. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna be doing it over fifteen years. So um, so that'll be fifteen years. And um, so what I need to do is. Um, type in my formula, so that's equal. Then I'm gonna be using my cell B2. So I'm gonna to have to lock that so that it just keeps referring to that cell. Okay, so that's why I put the dollar signs there, right? And then that's one uh, plus my interest rate of, um, that's gonna be 0 0.1. So in the first year, so that's my A3, sorry. A3, yeah, times uh, 0 0.1. Okay, so there we are. Then I'll just drag that down. So with simple interest, uh, with the 10 at a 10 percent rate, um, my 5,000 pounds will be uh, 12,500 pounds in 15 years. Okay, cool. So then uh, I'm gonna do my compound interest now. So compound interest, interest itself uh, ends interest as well. So that'll be, uh, I'll be using the same cell, but I'll have to lock it again. So it keeps referring to that principal amount. Okay, then I'll multiply. That's one uh, plus my interest rate of 0 0.1. And then exponentiate that. Okay, cool. So Then over 15 years, um, I would have £20,000, £886.24. pence. Okay, cool. So what I need to do now is um, I'll just need to plot um, a line graph so you can kind of see it's always better to visualize things. Uh, so this is my data that I'm going to use. And then insert a chart. I'll use a line. And I'll use that. Okay, so then finish that. So there we are, so there's my little chart. Um, showing um, like simple and compound interest. So obviously compound interest is better because uh, you're gonna have more money over the same period of time. Okay, so cool. Yeah, so it was just a quick um, intro to interest rates using LibreOffice. Okay, cool. So if you do like what you see, please, please do subscribe. And thanks for watching guys and have a lovely day. Ciao, bye.